Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we will be stuffing paycheck number two of December. Thank you guys all for still sticking around and supporting my channel here, but let's get into the cash stuffing. So I'm just gonna start off with my expenses as per usual. We'll be stuffing a total of $867 today. So then 100 is from my boyfriend's portion and then 767 is from the paycheck. So I took out $767 and for anyone new here, I do deposit the expenses back into my account at the end of the month to make the payment back. So I hope that makes sense. But we'll start off with our rent. And every month these numbers will be different. The numbers do fluctuate around. So until we have like a solid number, I am going to be changing the amounts up every month. Let's swap these around because these are backwards. Okay, so we'll start off with my rent. Rent is getting $237. So two twenty. 30, a 5, and 2 1s. So 1, 2 to 20, 30, 35, 36, and 37. That's going into rent. So I'll collect the four weeks worth of rent and then deposit this into the bank. At the end of every month, I will still count out these expenses, like the categories with you guys, as I have in the past. So I will explain more when I do that at the end of the month. Next is phone bill, that's getting $17. So 10, five, and two, one. So 17. Next is electricity and that's getting $21. On to renter's insurance. That's getting one dollar. The reason why I did add renter's insurance in is because I want to show you guys literally all the bills and expenses that I have to pay every month and changing up the amounts with you guys as well as I go. Car insurance is getting $36. So I did talk to my car like company I'm with State Farm and they were just saying something along the line where parts are going up so they have to work with inflation in a sense I don't know it was like a whole BS story but I'm definitely going to shop around because I looked around at a few other insurances and I can get a lower price for basically the same amount of coverage that I get through State Farm so I'm definitely going to be switching that up pretty soon, hopefully by next month. It's 145, you guys. Again, and I saw in the comments a lot of you guys were mentioning to your insurances were going up. And I'm telling you guys in the past before, I know a lot of you guys are saying that it happens all the time, but for a solid three, four years, I had the same amount like for my insurance. It never changed. So for me, it's new. I know to a lot of you guys, it's not. Internet bill is getting $10. And debt is getting 70. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, and 70. Subscription is getting $10. And my subscription, so for, um, what was it called? Black Friday, I think. They did like a promo with Disney and Hulu and I literally canceled my account and swap over to that so quick. So I'm saving, I don't know how much, but I'm paying $2.99, I believe, or $3 for Disney and Hulu now. So I will be changing that up. My Apple insurance and Apple storage is still gonna stay the same, I believe, but I'm trying to figure out how I can get it a little bit down for the storage. The insurance, I can't do nothing about it. That's just something that I'm going to have 
to just pay consistently for. Okay, so that is all for my expenses. That was a total of $402 this month. And then we'll move into our daily cash. So we'll move into our daily cash. Okay, so in our daily cash, I'm starting off with a date and date is getting $20 this week. And usually date is empty by the time I do my cash stuffing because we're always looking to try new things, drinks, or just food. <laughs> Most of the time, our date money goes towards food. So groceries is getting $120. So $120 is going into groceries. I do have some coins in some of my um, categories here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take them out later. Next is Kiyomi's food. So I still have food in, or I still have money in her food. I did purchase it through a credit card, so I have to pay that off and then take that money out of her category. So right now she has 140 right now. Next is personal and personal is getting $20. I don't know why I have a 20 in here if I have change. I wonder if I put it back in here on accident, but that's okay. I'll take 40 for personal. And next we have toiletries. Toiletries is getting $40 and I spent 20, so I only have 20 left, but we'll add two more 20, so we have 20, 40, and 60. I've noticed I do so much like better when I have cash that I have to spend in stores, so if you guys are new to budgeting, try the cash method when you go shopping and all that stuff before you officially go with your debit card or credit card or whatsoever, because I've noticed with cash i'm more strict on myself on how much money i'm spending in each category so gas is next and i haven't pumped gas in my car so i'm just gonna add a 10 and then i'll probably skip next week for gas because i haven't used my car and my gas is pretty full still next is give and give is getting five dollars let's find a crusty five so I used this five. Okay, so that is all for our daily cash. And that was a total of $255, you guys. So we'll move into our sinking funds. And of course, as always, we'll start off with Kiyomi's emergency. That's getting 25 this week. So I'll take a 20. And a five. And you guys, m remember when I told you guys about having to take her to the hospital to figure out what was going on? Because I thought she had like a UTI or something because they found blood in her urine or something. I don't know. The whole story did not make sense. But they came back with like a negative results of finding anything. So it was super upsetting because I spent around $400 for the vet bill plus her two hundred dollars for her allergy so it was super irritating just to find out they found nothing i just can't with this dog i'm telling you but in her emergency she now has 20 40 60 80 1 105 and 110 and it might be a little sloppy the way i write this because it's a little harder but we're just going to work with that. Next is emergency. That's getting $20. So emergency now has 20, 40, and five. 45. Next is health. Health is getting $20. And now we are at $40 for help. It's so hard to sit on the floor. Props to anyone who does their cash budget on the floor because my legs are killing me. But next is car maintenance and car maintenance is getting $20. 
$20 this week. So we are at 40 for car maintenance. I love just restarting on all of this over again because it just feels so good when you can save a bunch of money for each category. Next is Christmas and that is getting $20. I am doing some shopping this week. So hopefully by next week I am either done with this or have started some Christmas shopping. This is such a good 20. I'll have to swap this out later, but we are now at 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 5, and 10. It's a 210 for Christmas. That is awful. Next is family. Family is getting $10. And family is not 20, 30, and 35. Again, I'm not going to include these in there. I just like to have the bills around. So 35 in family. I am going to rewrite all this, you guys, because I can read it, but barely. Okay, let's scoot that down. Next is vacation. Vacation is getting $10 and has 10, so that gives it $20 that we're saving for vacation. Next is home. Home is getting $5 this week. And that leaves us with $15 in home. And I know it's not a lot that I'm stuffing in certain categories, which is totally okay. And I feel like the fun in budgeting your cash isn't to stuff a bunch in each category. It's to start. So starting is key. So that's all for this binder here. So let's move into my pink binder. Here I'll be starting off with my knee maintenance. Knee is getting 10. So as you guys saw in the last video, I did have an extra, or not an extra, but I stuffed my challenge with you guys on camera and I put the 300 in here. So we have 300, 20, 35. So 300 and 30, is it 35? Yes, 35 dollars in knee maintenance. Still have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but I know I'll probably do something with it in the future. Next is date night. Date night is getting $20. Date night now has $40, and we have nothing planned yet for date night. Like a super fun date night yet, but I want to save it so we can do something super fun next is birthdays and gifts birthdays and gifts is getting twenty dollars and birthdays and gifts is at 40 now next is debt snowball debt snowball is at twenty dollars so now debt snowball is at 20 40 and 45. This is so awful, the writing, you guys. Next is Pilates, and Pilates is getting $5. And this Pilates is not in a super rush to fill it out. I want to start buying, like, you know how some budgeters color in little category stuff? I don't even know how to explain it, but I want to get something where I can put it in here and just color it in as well to save up so it's a little bit more fun because each category I just have um, a little cash that I put in but I want to have like a little tracker I guess you can call it last is insurance and insurance is getting five dollars so insurance we have ten dollars now
Okay, and I'm not gonna add that up, but in total, we stuck $210 into our sinking fund. So I don't have any fives or ones this week, so we're skipping on that. All right, you guys, and that is all for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time I post a video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll chat with you guys in my next video. Bye!